Hey guys, my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel, Which Way to Wicked, where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. So guys, today we are going to be doing such a romantic reading as we find out what love notes or love letter your future spouse wants to send your way. So if you are as excited as I am about getting into this reading, then let's go ahead and take a look at your group picks. So for group number one, we have this pure essential oil that is meant to clear your sinuses and it does have eucalyptus, peppermint, pine, and rosemary. Next, we have this gorgeous uh, teacup here. It is so, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then last but not least for group number three, we have this beautiful amethyst crystal coming through okay can y'all can y'all see that hopefully hopefully y'all can oh, i almost dropped it hopefully y'all can see it oh my goodness guys i'm such a klutz now we have videographic evidence of my klutziness but anyways you guys i want you to go ahead and take a very big deep breath in and now i want you to please let it out And now I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about your future spouse and what love notes or love letter that they want to send your way. So what do they want to say to you, okay? Now whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes. And whichever little object your eyes lands on first then that my dear is going to be the reading for you today now if you feel called to more than one object here then definitely feel free to check out those extra messages as well and as always i will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below so without further ado let's go ahead and get into your reading today friends Hello group one. So if you felt called to this sinus pure essential oil today, then hey, hello, how are you? And welcome to this fabulous reading. So first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for deciding to join me as we hang out and pull some cards. This it's always just such a fun thing for me and I love being able to vibe with you guys and as always I do have to just give my channel a bit of a plug so if you do end up happening to like my vibe if you like hanging out with me then please make sure to give this video a big like and to maybe even consider subscribing because I post videos like this every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you join my tarot team family but Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this reading today. So, Spirit, we are asking what? Oh, oh my goodness. We already have some messages coming through. I didn't even finish saying what I was going to say. Um, we have the Ten of Air coming through, and there is a card, like, behind it, but it was kind of just, like, stuck to it, so I'm just going to put that card back in the deck like so. But let me try to finish my sentence. So, Spirit, what does group one's future spouse want to tell them? What do they want to tell them in these love notes, in this gorgeous love letter? What do they want to say to them, Spirit? Can we get some messages, please, for my group one folks? What does their future spouse want to tell them? I feel like this card wants to come through. Ooh, okay, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So for the back of the deck energy, we do have the page of earth coming through. This does talk about those gorgeous earth signs. So I'm talking about Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We can be picking up on your energy or we could be picking up on your future spouse's energy. So they could be one of those signs, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus. But taking a look at your other cards, we have the page of fire coming through. And we also have the tower. So this is honestly quite interesting. I think your future spouse, the love note that they want to send your way is that I feel like they want you to know right before they meet you, I do think that they're going to be going through some really big 
huge change within their life. They're going to be going through some type of ending. Because, of course, anytime you go through a change, you do have, like, these new beginnings coming through. But you can only have a new beginning after going through an ending, after going through the death of something. And I do think that this ending that's going to be taking place in your future spouse's life, it's not going to be something that they wanted. It's not going to be something that they were just over the moon over. In fact, I think this ending that they're going to be going through is going to be a painful one. So this can be talking about the end of a breakup. <coughs> So they could be, uh, maybe right before they meet you, maybe they're going to be breaking up with a person who they were with for a very long time. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys, I'm sorry. I have a very bad cold right now, a very bad cough, so you might be hearing me cough a lot. I'm just trying to get that out. But anyways, they could be going through the end of a relationship. This could be talking about them maybe losing their job. They could be going through some type of situation with their home. Maybe they're going to be losing their house or going through some something related to their money, like a money situation. This could even be talking about how maybe they could be dealing with the death of a family member or of a friend or something like that, right? But at the end of the day, they're going to be going through something bad. It's not going to be something that they want to go through. And it's almost like... Through the midst of all this craziness, through the midst of this huge change within their life, that is going to be where you come in. That is going to be where they meet you. And <coughs> <coughs> you are just going to be someone that makes this whole thing just so much better. You are going to be someone that makes them feel like maybe this change was something that they had to go through so that they could meet you. Because this person is going to feel like this change that is taking place within their life is going to be what leads them to you. Like if they would have never gone through that, then they never would have been led your way. And so <coughs> at the end of the day, they want you to know that before they meet you, their world is going to be absolutely crazy the things that they're going to be going through, it's going to be hard. It's going to be something they never wanted to experience, but they also want you to know that it's going to be something that at the end of the day they wanted to experience because they truly feel like if they wouldn't have gone through that, then they never would have met you. And so you are just going to be like a spark to them. You're going to be a spark of life. The reason why I'm saying that is because this woman here, she is holding this flame in her hand. She looks absolutely gorgeous, by the way. She's wearing a beautiful, a beautiful pink dress. And what's very interesting is that underneath her, there's like a snake. And a snake represents transformation. A snake is someone, it's an animal that loses its skin. It sheds its skin and becomes something new, right? And so, yeah, like again, this transformative message is coming through, this message of change. And they just want you to know that they are so happy for going through these hard, painful endings because it's what leads them to you. And at the end of the day, they want you to know that you're going to be a spark to them, a flame to them. You are someone who is going to be like that light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to make everything better. And they also want you to know, like with this like fire energy coming through, you could definitely be a fire sign, sun, moon, rising, or in Venus. So I am talking about Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But going off of that energy, this represents someone who is very very fun and very vibrant to be around and this is the page of fire and anytime we have a page coming through this is someone this usually represents someone who is younger in age so you guys could have a bit of an age difference coming through you might be younger than them in years or this could just be talking about how maybe you have a very youthful outlook on life and I just think that you are going to be the one that makes all this better because of the fact that you are just such an optimistic person. And so they want you to know that just being around you, being in your presence, it makes everything better. Because you are just someone who is so sweet, so fun to be around, so vibrant. You make everyone 
feel better. You make everyone feel good. I think that you can make someone who's having the worst day smile, and that's going to be no exception for your future spouse. You just make everyone happier, and your future spouse is going to be just one of the many people that you make happy, and they just want you to know this. They want you to know like the effect that you have on people, how just being in your presence, being near you makes them happy, makes other people happy, and so at the end of the day, they're going to build something new with you. They're going to build something new new with you here at the Page of Earth. You are going to make them feel more stable. You're going to make them feel that there's a little bit of goodness that is coming from this bad situation. And you're just going to make them feel so comfortable. I mean, look at the Nine of Earth. This literally shows a woman lying on a wolf, and she just looks like... <laughs> she is just so comfortable, right? So comfortable, so cozy. So I honestly feel like you are going to make them feel like they are at peace. Whenever they're around you, they just feel so much more peaceful. And that's what they would want you to know in this love letter and these love notes that you just make everything brighter. You make everything feel so much better. And you, I, they, I think they also just want you to know that they are really going to love your snuggles. They're going to love like cuddling with you. So that's definitely something that they want you to know. And they do also want you to know that you're just like a very hot person. You are so attractive to them. That's what I'm seeing here by seeing this woman holding this flame as well. Like obviously that's hot. So I definitely think that they want you to know that they see you as someone who's very hot, who's very beautiful. So that's always fun to hear. That's always great to see. But let's go ahead and move on. So Spirit, can we get some messages, please? What does Group 1's future spouse want them to know? Can we get some love notes for my Group 1 folks? Some love notes, please. What messages wants, want to come through, Spirit? What messages want to come through, Spirit? Okay, can we get one more card? One more card for my group one folks. Ooh, there we go. Okay, and now I'm also just going to go ahead and get all of the other oracle cards as well. Ooh, okay, we have two cards coming through. Let's get another card. Ooh, there we go. <coughs> Okay. Alrighty, you guys. This is honestly so sweet. So, first of all, it says, it's simple, really. And it says, how do I feel? I want you, us, forever. We also have Twin Flame. And it says, you activate my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You help me heal in ways no one else could. <coughs> Thank you for finding me again this time around. We have You're My Soulmate. It must be written in, in the stars because you most definitely are my destiny. We belong together. We have Prostitute coming through and it says, Accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. We have Honeymoon, Calm, and Creativity. So yeah, you guys, literally, it says right here with the Twin Flame card, you help me heal in ways no one else could. So yeah, you are just going to find your future spouse whenever they are going through such a hard, hard time, and you're going to help them heal. You're going to take them as they are, as this broken person, and you're going to help put them together. And they just want you to know that if it wasn't for you, they wouldn't become the person that they were meant to be. They wouldn't have been able to go through all these challenging times and be able to go through it with a smile. You are just going to help them feel so much more calm while they are going through this crazy tower moment within their life. And along the way, they're just going to feel like you're their soulmate, that you're their twin flame. And at the end of the day, they just want you to know that it's simple. It's simple. They just want you. They want you guys together forever. They just love you so much. And I think that every day with you, it's just going to feel like a honeymoon. Every day with you, it's going to feel fun and amazing because whenever you're on that honeymoon, that honeymoon, when, after you get married, the honeymoon, that's something that people spend years thinking about afterwards, thinking about how <coughs> much fun it was, the adventures that you went on, all those things. And with you, 
They want you to know that every day feels like a honeymoon. Every day feels like there's a new adventure for them to go after. Every day feels so much fun, so so vibrant. And it's because of you. It's because you are so fun. You are so vibrant. You are like a honeymoon experience and a person. So I think that your future spouse wants you to know that it's not just them that feels this way around you. <laughs> it's everyone. You make everyone feel better. You make everyone feel like life is fun and life is amazing. And so your future spouse just wants you to know that with you, everything is so much better. Everything is so much brighter. And they're so happy that they could even have the chance to be able to create, to create this life with you. And I just think that that is so, so beautiful. And at the end of the day, it says accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. So your future spouse just wants you to know that whenever they find you, at the point in their life, they're going to feel like every day is just a survival, right? They're trying to get up. They're trying to survive this change. They're trying to get through this. And I think that slowly but surely, that's going to take a toll on their mental health, on their physical health. It's going to take a toll on just their happiness in general. But whenever they meet you, you are going to help them feel so much more powerful. You are going to bring them up push them up and just make them feel like they can do anything, achieve anything. So you're going to help them find their power again. You're going to help them feel empowered. And they, that is just something that they want you to know. And it's not just going to be like whenever they're going through these hard times that you're going to empower them. It's just whenever they're around you, they're always going to feel empowered. So whenever they're happy, you're going to make them feel good, make them feel empowered. Whenever they're sad, you're going to make them feel like everything is okay, that they're still this powerful person, that they can still do anything. Whenever they're going through so much anxiety, you'll be there to pick them up. So it's just through every stage of their life, you're going to be there for them. And they want you to know how happy they are to have you, how blessed they feel to be able to be in your presence every day once you guys meet. And they just want you to know how proud they are to call you their person. And they're just so happy that they can be with you and share this life with you. So yes, you guys, at the end of the day, that is what I'm seeing for you. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading. And if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday. And I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much. And I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hello group two. So if you felt called to this beautiful teacup today, then hey, hello, how are you? And first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for deciding to come and be a part of this reading today. I just love being able to make videos like this for you guys. It's so much fun to me and I just love hanging out with y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side right here and let's go ahead and start shuffling through your cards now I also want to just plug in my channel really quickly I've, I've got to do it a girl's gotta got, gotta stay on that grind right so if you happen to like my vibe if you like hanging out with me then please make sure to give this video a big old like and to maybe even consider subscribing because I post videos like this every Monday and every Friday and I would love to be able to have you uh, subscribe to this channel and just hang out with me some more. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at your cards. So, Spirit, for Group 2, let's tap into Group 2's energy, their future spouse's energy. What does their future spouse want them to know? What love notes, what love messages do they want to send their way? Can we get some messages, please, for Group two spirit for group two please open me up to group two's future spouse what do they want them to know spirit group two's future spouse there we go a card is already coming through Ooh. okay wow so we've got some we've got some heavy energy coming through if i'm being honest wow We'll talk more about that in a second. Let's just see what else wants to come through. I think I want to go ahead and get one more card. Just one more card, please, for group two. Group two's future spouse. All 
honestly, this is kind of interesting. This is really interesting, actually. Okay, guys. I'm getting the idea that... Well, I'm sorry. Let me talk about these cards first. So, we do have the Three of Air. We have the Elder of Earth. We have the Ace of Fire. The High Priestess. And for the back of the deck energy, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. And so this is actually really, really interesting. I really think that your future spouse wants you to know that before they met you, I definitely think that they were in some type of relationship where they ended up really hurting the person that they were with. And you might be asking, how did they hurt them? Now, I don't see something like, I, I, I don't think that they cheated on their person or anything like that. I don't even think that they broke their trust. I just think that this person, they realized that the person who they were with, that they just were not the person they were meant to be with. I think that they realized after being with them for how, however long they were with them for, they just realized that they weren't making them happy. And I just think that they knew that there was other things out there maybe even other people out there who uh, they just felt like they were meant to meet. And so at the end of the day, I think your future spouse wants you to know that they had to go through this type of breakup or maybe they even went through several breakups. But I just think that your future spouse, before meeting you, I think that they were always on the search for the for their perfect person. They've always been searching for someone that can make them feel so good, so happy, that can bring them this ace of fire type of type of feeling, right? Because the ace of fire, this talks about an igniting of love, of passion, of joy, of happiness. And I think that your person, your future spouse, they have been looking for this for this feeling for so long, this indescribable feeling. And I honestly don't think they've ever really been in love. Like before you, I don't think they've ever really madly been in love over someone. And I think that they knew that it was out there for them. They knew that there was someone that they were meant to meet that would give them all these feelings. And yet they just could not find that person. And so I think that your future spouse just wants you to know, like, before you, they were waiting so long. They were waiting so long to find their person. They are really holding out. And I do think that they are, this is, like, a t very type of, like, dreamy person, and but also a spiritual person. This is someone who I think does believe in soulmates. They believe in, in uh, finding your twin flame, the person that can just be your other half. They believe in all that, that yin-yang type of energy, all of that. They believe in that, and they've been looking for that. And so they want you to know that their whole life, they've been spending it looking for you, trying to find their person, the person that can bring them this joy. And obviously, you being their future spouse, you're going to be that person. You're going to be that person that makes them feel so good, so happy. You're going to give them this feeling a thousand times over of happiness, of love, of passion, of joy. And they just want you to know that they had such a hard time. Like, they had such a hard time going out here trying to find their person. They're so tired. But then they meet you, and they just want you to know that all of that searching, it was worth it. It was worth it to be able to find you, to be able to meet the person who they can settle down with, who they can create roots with, create a home with. And so, yeah, they're just, they're just out here trying to find their other half, and they want you to know that. Like, they've been looking for their other half for so long, and obviously, you're their other half. So, that's the main message that I am seeing here right now. I think that they even want you to know, like, because I am getting, like, quite a spiritual side to them. I think that they want you to know that they even went to, like, psychics or uh, people that do, like, tarot readings or 
things like that to try to ask them about their person about who their person is to try to get hints and tips and clues as to who they are and so they just want you to know like they have gone to the extremest of links to try to figure out who you are to try to find you to try to get to you faster so yeah your person is so romantic they're so sweet and they've been holding out for you for so long and I'm just so excited for you this is just such a sweet energy that I'm picking up on oh my gosh oh my gosh literally you guys this is exactly what I was saying we literally have the future coming through so these are my channel messages cards and it says I daydream about our future together going on adventures and growing old together I want it all so yeah your person for the longest time they have had their eye on the prize and that was you they've been thinking about like their prince charming or their princess charming just the person their ideal person who they were meant to be with who will give them all these amazing feelings They've been thinking about it for so long, you know, they've been having that hindsight for so long. And so, yeah, they just want you to know again in this love note, like, they're just waiting for you, babe. They're waiting for you, but they're not just waiting. Like, they're actively searching. They're searching for you. Oh, my gosh, that is so cute. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love that. Wow. You guys are so lucky, group two. You guys are so lucky. But let's see what else wants to come through. Okay. All right. We have focused on money. Okay. It says, I'm currently focusing on my career and finances. My main priority is financial stability. So we did have that Elder of Earth card coming through. Oh, and you guys, I forgot to talk about the uh, signs, the zodiac signs that I was seeing. So with the Elder, Elder of Earth, this does talk about Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We do have the High Priestess. That makes me think of like Pisces, Cancerian energy. So this could be your sign or their sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus. So that can definitely give you an idea as to who your future spouse is. But just talking about this focus on money thing, this makes so much sense with that Earth energy coming through. Because Earth signs, they are all about like work. They're all about trying to build a good life for themselves, build a lot of financial stability. They just want to have a good life and they know that in order to have a good life, they've got to have a good job. They've got to have that like that bank, that money. And so yeah, I feel like in the meantime, as they've been searching for you, trying to find you, I think that they have also been focusing on their money. They've been focusing on their finances and they want you to know this specifically because all these things that they're doing, you know, trying to work on their on themselves, trying to work on their job, trying to have all those finances and stuff, it's so that they can create a good life for you. So not only are they actively searching for you, but they're actively putting in the work so that they can be the best person for you once they do find you, so that they can give you the best life imaginable. So they want you to know like everything they do, even though they haven't even met you yet, it's for you, babe. And so that is just, that is so sweet. Your person is amazing. We also have, I need time to heal. Right now, I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you. It's about me. So yeah, I also think that your person, again, like I said, they're just focusing on all aspects of themselves. They're trying to better themselves before they meet you. They're trying to make themselves the best person imaginable so that they can give you everything that you deserve. They just want to be the person that you deserve, even though they don't even know you yet. So I just think that's awesome. I love that. So let's see what else wants to come through for my group two folks spirit. My group two folks. What does their future spouse want them to know? Let's see what wants to come through. All righty, you guys. So we have Harmony. Student. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So yeah, this is also just talking about how they are trying to like release all their exes, right? They know that these people aren't for them. In fact, again, I feel like your future spouse has been the one that has broken up with all these people. But just because they've broken up with them, just because they know these people aren't good for them, and that they're not the one for them, it doesn't mean that they don't care about them. And so I think that they want you to know that 
they do have some healing that they need to work on. They have some healing that they need to, that they need to, again, work on and heal and resolve. And I think it's because they are sad. Like, I think that they genuinely, obviously cared about these people, their exes. And I think that they're sad that these people weren't the one for them. Because maybe on, on, on paper, they were absolutely perfect for them. And maybe these people, their exes, did make them really happy. But at the end of the day, they didn't give them that feeling. That feeling of just being madly in love. Of feeling just some type of way. Like, feeling like you're being hit in the chest every time they see them, right? They didn't feel that way. They didn't get the, the air knocked out of them every time they looked at them. Like, they just didn't feel that way for them. Maybe they just felt a deep connection to them. Maybe they felt just like a, a like a friend type of connection to them. A connection where, you know, it's, you, you've been with someone for a while and so obviously you just care for them because you've been with them for a while. Do you get what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying because this is actually something that I felt once before. I have experience with this. So I was in a relationship with someone for over a year and a half. Now that did, that situation did end up ending badly. The person cheated on me. I broke up with them, things like that. But at the end of the day, whenever things were going good, I was so happy with them. That person made me happy. But at the end of the day, I didn't feel fulfilled. And I liked hanging out with them. They were like, my best friend but at the end of the day I didn't get that feeling right I didn't get that that special feeling I didn't truly love them I didn't love them and in that whole time I was with them I couldn't tell them that I loved them so at the at the end of the day I can't really be so angry about them cheating on me I mean obviously I can but throughout that whole time I never really loved them I didn't love them in the way that that they deserved and so, I feel like maybe your future spouse has gone through that same thing. Maybe they weren't cheated on or anything like that, but I think that they could have been with someone and given themselves to someone for a very long time in the hopes that they would eventually feel that feeling, and yet they never did. And so they had to break up with them. And they probably felt really bad about it because they do genuinely care about that person. They care about them. And I think that they were also just very sad about it that things didn't work out. And there could be times, and your future spouse wants you to know this, as they've been trying to get closer to you, as they've been trying to search you out, where there were moments where they just felt like they're never going to find the one for them. They're never going to find their their person. Because I felt like that so many times. I felt like I would never find someone that would give me that like loving feeling. In fact, I felt like there was something wrong with me. Like, why can't I love this person or that person or that person? What is wrong with me? But then I finally met my person. I met my current boyfriend and all those feelings I never felt with all those other people, I feel it for him. I Every time I look at him, it just, it feels like I've been shot in the chest, but in a good way. I just, I, I love and I care about him so much. And I think that is what your person is trying to tell you. That is what it's going to be like whenever they meet you. They're going to just feel like they got the breath knocked out of their lungs. They're going to feel like you're just the best thing in the world. It's going to be indescribable. Like, they're not even going to be able to describe the way that you make them feel. But in the meantime, they also want you to know that at the end of the day, they are going to be having to, to do a lot of work. Like Before they meet you, they're going to be doing a lot of work trying to release these people from their past, trying to heal the pain that they feel, the, the insecurity that they feel of feeling like they're never going to find the one that's meant for them, right? And so also in the meantime, again, they're just going to be focusing on that money, trying to build a life for themselves. They could be going to school with the student card coming through, trying to learn as much as they can, trying to get the degrees that they need to work at these nice places, right? <coughs> and at the end of the day, I think that, that they want you to know that once they do meet you, things are just going to feel absolutely incredible. Their life is is no longer going to feel like it's like tilted off of its axis. Like everything is just going to even out. And whenever they meet you, they want you to know that they're just going to feel so happy. And on one hand, they're going to feel so excited and so overwhelmed and so just like on fire whenever they meet you. But they're also just going to feel so at peace knowing that you're the one for them. So yeah, you guys, that is what your future spouse wants you to know. 
I hope that you have enjoyed this reading, and if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday, and I would love to have you stop by this side of Terra Tube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much, and I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hello, group three. So if you felt called to this gorgeous amethyst crystal today, then hey, hello, how are you? And welcome to your reading. So guys, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for deciding to stop by and hang out with me. I love being able to make readings like this for you guys all the time. It just makes me so happy. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for always hanging out with me, for always being there for me, and for even like commenting and liking these videos. Everything just means so much to me. I love your support and your energy. It just makes me so happy. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just place this off to the side. And let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards. So also, I do just want to uh, plug in my channel. If you do happen to like my vibe, if you like my energy, then please make sure to give this video a big like and to maybe even decide to subscribe because I make videos like this every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you join my side of Terror Tube. I also want to let you guys know that I am kind of sick, so I might be having to cough a bit, so please excuse that in advance. But Let's see what wants to come through. Spirit, can we get some messages, please? What love notes, what love letter does Group 3's future spouse want to send their way? Let's tap into Group 3's future spouse's energy, Spirit. Please help me tap into their energy. What do they want them to know, Spirit? What do they want them to know? What do they want them to know? Let's get some messages, please. What do they want them to know, Spirit? Can we get some messages for Group 3? What wants to come through? There we go. Beautiful. Wow. You guys, I love this. So, first of all, for the back of the deck in energy, we do have the Elder of Water. This does talk about water signs. So, I'm talking about Cancer, Pisces, um... Scorpio. We also have the Knight of Air, which talk, talks about the air signs. So uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then the Empress card does talk about Taurus energy as well. So your future spouse could be one of those signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus, or you could be one of those signs. And then last but not least, we do have the Seven of Earth coming through. Now, guys, I absolutely love these cards that are making an appearance here. I love it. <laughs> um, so first of all, I feel like your future spouse, the first thing they want you to know is that you are literally the gift that keeps on giving. You are someone who just makes them so happy. You are someone that makes them feel so fulfilled. I think that every day with you is just so amazing and so incredible and they want you to know that. First and foremost, they want you to know that. And I'm also getting the idea that this is someone I think they want you to know that they are going to always want to be attached at the hip with you. Like, wherever you are, that's where they want to be. The reason why I'm saying that is because with the Seven of Earth card, I don't know if you can see this, but this woman is, like, reaching up into a tree here, I believe, and she has a snake that is wrapped around her arm. And this is kind of just giving me the idea that that person is representing your energy, and then the snake wrapped around her arm, that represents your future spouse's energy. And so I just think that, that they want to want you to know right now that they're going to be with you all the time. They love their cuddles. They love their snuggles. I think they want you to know that they are a very, very affectionate person, a very touchy person. And so they want you to, to prepare yourself right now because once they meet you, once they are with you, like they're always going to be all up on you. I mean, literally right here, there's a, on the Empress card, there are like some bunny rabbits <laughs> on the side. Whenever I see bunnies, that makes me think about like fertility and, you know, getting it on. Okay. And so I think that they want you to know that they're always going to be stuck at the hip with you. And I think that whenever they're around you, sex is something that is always going to be on their mind. <laughs> and it's because they're just so freaking attracted to you. Like, they are so attracted to you. They just want you to know, like, you 
you're very attractive, you're very beautiful, you are literally like the perfect person for them. I mean the Empress, the Empress is supposed to be the Emperor's match, like perfect match when it comes to the Tarot, because we do have the Emperor card and the Empress card in the Tarot deck. And they're supposed to be each other's perfect match. So they want you to know right now, like, you are their perfect person. You are their perfect person. And because of that, they are always, obviously just want to, they're, they're always going to want to hug you and love on you and talk to you. But they're also going to want to be making out with you and sleeping with you all the time. So your person, I, I feel like they have a really high sex drive, honestly. And I think that they want you to know that, you're someone who they want to create a family with. Now, obviously, for every, for every single one of you, a family might be different for you, right? Like your idea of a family. So if you are someone who does not want to have kids, then this could simply be talking about how your future spouse wants to build like a an animal family with you, right? Um, maybe you don't want to have kids yourself, but you want to adopt. Does that make sense? So maybe you guys will want to adopt. Or maybe you do want to have kids. And so, yeah. If that's the case, at the end of the day, your person, your future spouse, they just want to build something with you. They want to build a home. They want to have, like, little humans running around or little, like, animal pets or even <laughs> plant pets, right? They, they want to have plants that you guys take care of. They, they just... They want to take care of something with you. They want to build something, something with you. They want to share it in that connection that you share with someone whenever two people come together and you're taking care of something else. You are just someone who they feel like would be an excellent parent, an excellent mother or father figure, and you're just the person who they want to settle down with, and they want you to know that. And at the end of the day, I'm also kind of getting the idea that I think they want you to know that they see you as someone who's going to be kind of hard to get. The reason why I'm saying that is because with the Knight of Air, this woman has her hand out, and there's like a bird flying away, like kind of flying in mid-flight, and it looks like she's kind of like catching that bird, right? And so this is kind of just making me think how I feel like whenever they meet you, they just want you to know right now, like, you're for some reason, you're going to be kind of hard for them to get. Like, maybe you are going to be the one that's not necessarily interested in settling down right away. Or maybe you are someone who is more committed to your job and you're not ready to be in a relationship because of that. But at the end of the day, whatever it is, they just see you as someone who's going to be hard to get. And they just want you to know, like, they're going to be putting, putting in a lot of work to try to get you, to, to try to get your attention. And so they just want you to know right now, like, how much work they're going to be spending trying to win you over. And it's work that they're happy to do. Like, they're so excited to work so hard to win you over. In fact, I feel like they're going to love that sense of challenge that they get. But, yeah, they just want you to know right now. I'm getting kind of a sassy energy from them. They just want you to know, like, hey, babe, like, I'm going to work hard for you. Like, I'm going to be putting in the work. So I just want you to know now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to want you to want you to know now <laughs> how much work I'm going to put in. So, yeah, that's just cute. I'm definitely picking up on, like, a sassy, sassy energy from them, which I think is fun to see. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what else wants to come through. So, Spirit, can we get some messages? What does group three's future spouse want them to know? Oh, okay. That was a big chunk of cards that came out. But we do have, like, one card that was looking at us. Oh, my gosh. I love that. It literally says spoiling you. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips. Everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less. So, yeah. Need I say more? Your future spouse. Like... And that makes sense with the Seven of Earth, honestly, because the Seven of Earth, that talks about giving and receiving. And so, I think that they want you to know, like, they want to give you the, the world. They want to give you the world. Like, you are their perfect person, and they're just going to shower you in gifts. They're going to make sure that you are so happy. They're going to take you out on trips, on, on fancy dinners. They're going to just make you feel so good. They're going to they're gonna spoil you, okay? They're going to spoil you, Group 3, which... I love that. I'm so excited for y'all. Let's see what else wants to come through. Okay. It says, is it true? I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Okay. So that could be what's going on here with the Knight of Air. Maybe you're going to be hard for them to win over because maybe you're actually going to be unattainable. Maybe you're actually going to be unavailable. 
and dating someone else at the time that they do meet you and so they are gonna have to put in that extra work to try to like sway you over to just like <coughs> <coughs> excuse me you guys but they're gonna put in a whole extra lot of work so that they can just be your friend for right now in hopes that you will end up breaking up with this person and they can have their shot with you so yeah that's definitely something that's coming true that's coming through here or maybe you're not going to be in a relationship but they're just going to think whenever they first meet you that, that you're dating someone else or something like that so yeah there's going to be a little bit of confusion that your future spouse is feeling whenever they first meet you and it's just the confusion that comes with them thinking like are they dating someone are they not or if they or if you are dating someone they're going to be thinking can i win this person over and at the end of the day, they are going to win you over because, I mean, you're going to be their future spouse. So, yeah, they just, again, want you to know, like, they're going to be working so hard to get your attention, to keep your attention. So, yeah, we also have finding myself. It was time I went within to find myself again. I need to figure out what I want out of life. I need space. So, I just think that not only are they going to work really hard to, like, woo you over, but I think that excuse me, they are going to spend time trying to find themselves as well. They just see you as their perfect match, as their perfect person. And they want to be that same perfect person for you. They want to be your best match. And obviously they can't be your best match if they haven't done a lot of inner work, a lot of shadow work. If they haven't done that type of eternal work that will build them up and make them become a better version of themselves, right? So let's see what else wants to come through spirit. For group three, can we get some messages, please? For group three's future spouse. Yeah, that makes so much sense. That makes a lot of sense. Ooh, oh my goodness, you guys. Those cards literally fell under my table. Let me get them. Oh my gosh, those are three cards. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in the deck because that was too many. Let's get just one or two cards, Spirit. One or two cards, please. One or two cards. Okay, two cards. Alrighty. So we have Stimulate. We have Shapeshifter. This could be the one. And Soulmate. Okay, so yeah, obviously, they want you to know right now, whenever they meet you, as they're getting to know you, they're just going to feel like you are the one for them. You are the one for them. You make them so happy, right? And honestly, you could already know. Oh, oh my goodness. You could already know this person, okay? Because it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So honestly, you could already know your future spouse. And maybe your future spouse is someone who you're currently friends with right now. I don't know. But you could already know your future spouse. For some of you guys, you could already know them. So I'm just throwing that out right now. I'm throwing that out there. We also have soulmate coming through. So yeah, like your person, not only are they going to feel like you're the person who they're meant to be with, but they want you to know that they feel like you're their soulmate. You're just everything to them. We have shapeshifter coming through and stimulate. And I think that this is talking about how, again, like your person is really going to be trying to go through a lot of changes mentally physically, spiritually, so that they can become the best version of themselves, so that they can be the best person for you. They want to stimulate their mind, stimulate their brain. They want to learn new things, learn better ways of living, learn better ways of being healthy, because they just want to be the perfect person for you. They just idolize you so much. They put you on a pedestal, and they want to be as perfect as you are in their eyes. They want to be as perfect to you as you are to them. Does that make sense? And so, yeah, I think that that's so, so, so cute, and I love that. So, yes, you guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading, and if you did, then please make sure to give me a big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday, and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much, and I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys.